This is a wild cherry, Prunus pardus, a native plant to Scotland. It's gotten known as the Geen. Ironically, in this wet weather, one of its distinguishing features is not so obvious, which are these structures known as lenticels that run across the main trunk. They're actually breathing holes. They're normally very obvious on a cherry tree. This tree has been damaged. It doesn't look to have been by roe deer or by squirrels. It's quite likely to be either frost crack or sun crack, which is a differential stresses caused in the bark of the tree by the sunshine being on one side of the tree. And that causes, particularly with a tree that's been frozen overnight, stresses that can cause it to crack. And these cracks often run from one sort of weak point to another, and they stop at a point where there is something like a dormant bud, which may well be here. What's also shown is this, what's called gamosis. That is this resin-like substance that's oozing out from beside the wound. Of limited use to man, but apparently can be mixed with ashes and makes a, a poor sort of glue. Whilst in pine trees, the resin has a whole variety of uses. Certainly it uh, can be burnt, for instance. Also showing here is this very distinctive callus growth. The tree, like skin, is trying to repair itself. has been curling over and trying to enclose the wound. It may manage it, but by that time, the central heart, the xylem, the wood of the tree, would have been rotting away so that might give it some strength but the tree will effectively at that point be hollow